What's up guys, welcome back. Let me ask you if you've ever thought about designing or developing your very own video game. Perhaps you've even started out by using some Unity or Unreal Engine. Maybe you've even drawn up some pixel art over in Photoshop or wrote a few lines of code in a text editor. Now what if I tell you that there is this amazing app called Views for Nintendo Switch that lets you do all that and more. The developers over at Fuse Technologies who sent me over this review copy to check out, thanks so much you guys, developed this app so that every gamer old enough to read and write can create their very own games for the Nintendo Switch, one of the most popular video game consoles to date. In making this review, I've had a big help from my very, very good friend Rohan Sharma, a young, gifted software developer who created a game using the tools at his disposal. And with that, let's have a look at views for Nintendo Switch. If you're a follower of the Nintendo Kid blog, you must have come across my first impressions in which I gave some early feedback. And now a little over a month later the app has found its place on the market and even the first major patch has been released. Out of the gate, Views looks like a developer platform rather than a fancy creative suite. A bit rough around the edges, perhaps a little too much old school for the kind of product it really is, for it is advertised as a low level entry into the wondrous world of coding. But in all fairness, the menu does work and is crystal clear as to the intentions and navigation. In the program section you can delve into the numerous example projects that have been created with the intention of showing off some of the types of games one can create complete with full access to the source code ready for you to alter, edit or expand and execute on the fly. It is here that I started off having gone through quite some of them by now and I can honestly say that I am impressed with the elegance and approach of the programming and incorporation into the Nintendo Switch's environment. Take the program 3D Crazy Shooter for example. It took me just about 10 minutes to go through the source code and understand the general workings of it, in large part due to the great annotation. After my first week I managed to increase the mobility of the player by providing a twin stick movement, effectively making it easier to dodge objects and push just outside of the camera view. After playing through it a few times I felt that the A button wasn't a very logical choice for a weapon discharge. Going back into the code I simply changed the associated button and annotation to a shoulder button. A small change but a big impact as to the comfort. Even though I have some experience in writing and editing code, I would not qualify in any way sort or form to be called a programmer. To see the ease with which these programs can be read and altered without crashing the games is absolutely fantastic and encourages you to keep on going till you feel comfortable enough to start creating your own games. In order to do so, there is a hefty media library with all sorts of stuff for you to go through to create games of your liking, from character pixel art to sound bites, from beautiful backgrounds to music clips and from effects to objects. Rohan writes, The media library is probably one of Fuse's top strengths. It is wholesome consisting of 2D graphics, 3D graphics, music, sounds, fonts and whatnot. All material has been built, keeping in mind easy usage in games. While Views does support the use of Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers, I would strongly suggest to plug in an external keyboard through USB connection. Or perhaps this would be the perfect time to get your hands on one of those wireless Nintendo Switch keyboards which hook up to your Joy-Cons. If you missed out on my review for the same, be sure to check it out. Personally, I really fancy the aesthetics of the Metroidvania game called Gothic Vania. Have a look. Of course I couldn't help myself and started to mess around with the code of the player's movement, increasing the running speed and lowering the player's gravity so as to jump higher and stay airborne for some additional times, as you can see. 
In order to help you get started, there is a huge database of coding examples, tutorials and explanation as to the workings and background of views. All of the included commands, keywords and operators, it is pretty, pretty extensive. Good job you guys! Over in the tools section, you can create or alter maps used in your games within the map editor, which does take some time getting used to. But once you get the hang of it, it does whatever it needs to do. And if nothing, it allows you to glance over the wondrously drawn sprites included in this base kit. The image editor works quite similar to the map editor and allows you to work on your very own pixel art. The greatest fun is perhaps found in the fact that you can share your creations with your friends. Because of this, I managed to play through my friend's, Rohan's, game, a side-scrolling game in which you have to dodge incoming birds. Although it's a fun game with a 5 strikes and your out concept, I did find the lack of a horizontal movement a miss, and I went back into the source code, and after a few attempts, I got just what I needed. Take it away. Kindly note that in adjusting the games created by your friends thus, only your local version is modified. His original game remains intact. Views for Nintendo Switch is an amazing attempt at getting people to create their very own video games. And it does so by bridging the ambitions of people with a vast library of coding examples and media ready to drop into your game. While I was mostly exploring this using the Joy-Cons in handheld mode, my good friend Rohan actually used a full-fledged keyboard and hooked that up straight to his Nintendo Switch dock, as most of the keyboards in the world are supported by Fuse and the Nintendo Switch, especially after that latest patch which dropped quite recently. Now depending on where you are in the world, you either have to dig through the coding examples by yourself, or there's always a help desk I guess, or you can sign up for any of the numerous workshops that Fuse Technologies have set up in order for you to learn this app and get into coding. That is just an initiative which I cannot applaud enough. Great work, you guys. Fuse for Nintendo Switch is available for just under 40 US dollars. I, I know, I know it's quite a hefty price, but don't be mistaken for what you're getting is vast. There is a lot of stuff in here and Fuse really packs a punch and here's some insider's information there is more to come there's definitely more to come as the guys over at views technologies are constantly looking for more media to drop into this app ready for you to keep expanding on your games so if you are confident enough if you have the skills to develop either some 3d assets 2d assets maybe you're good with composing some music or sound bites or maybe you just want to make some of those backgrounds contact them drop them a line and see if you can make a few bucks by getting that stuff into this app now with that guys i am signing off be sure to drop a comment in the section down below because i am really interested if you are planning on picking this one up maybe you have some experience in creating games and think that this is the way to move forward and share the stuff with your friends that's actually a lot of fun sharing those games. Create some, give some comments on your friends. Maybe you can actually outdo them. That's, uh, that's quite a competitive thing there. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you have enjoyed this review. Hit that little bell if you want to have those notifications on new videos going up. And I will see you next time.